There are ways that we can heal sufficiently and begin to access dimensions of ourselves that provide that self-nourishment. But it doesn't happen when you're steeped in childhood trauma and all of the incoherence in your life is unaddressed. Perhaps if you become a vegan or a vegetarian too soon and for reasons that are related to being right and good, you're so much in your trauma field, so little motivated by the curiosity of listening to your body and seeking the already there pleasure of of self-nourishment that your body's gonna show you this isn't it and it doesn't work and you're not ready and it doesn't beg the assertion of the one final dietary landing place you know to this day I I still explore and listen and experiment and I want to listen I want to learn and I also want to resolve that little whisper inside that says this isn't really a fit for you with the power of my daily choices if there is one choice that we make all day every day it's what do I put in my mouth. And so the ritual of reclaiming that begins to shift your system out of stress physiology and into regenerative physiology. The commitment and the exercising of your power of choice in the form of a diet protocol at some point in your life can be a very, very powerful pattern disruptor that introduces you to yourself so that you can continue to walk yourself home.